How's it going guys? Just Chris here from Bang on Drum School with a wee quick midweek video for you. So we did one board and breaker last week which is the climbing the stairs and seeing how high we could go. So some people got on really well and um, hopefully you're still doing that and still going. I'd love to see if some people could climb some mountains in the house, that'd be sweet. But I'm going to do another quick um, midweek one with you now, another board and breaker. Sort of break up the monotony and the boredom of doing schoolwork all day at home. So we're going to do something fun but before that I've got a very quick announcement. Okay, so really quickly, very importantly, we have a pupil of the week. Now this guy has been working hard, according to his mum, and along with some of the other people who have sent videos in, I got a video with this guy going for it. So, the pupil of the week is Caleb McFarland from Port of Vogue Primary School, and he has won himself a practice pad. So he has been practicing on um, a box, just like the one I showed you guys how to practice on anything I had the printer box he had one exactly the same and he's been practicing hard so now he gets to practice on a practice pad so if anybody else is working hard and you're doing really well don't hesitate to get your mum or dad or whoever it is you live with to take some videos of you guys really working hard and you might just be in a chance to win a pupil of the week but anyway on now to boredom breaker number two so our second boredom breaker is a poetry challenge Oh, who'd have thunk? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a competition to write a haiku. If you know what that is, brilliant. I don't have to explain it. But if you don't know what it is, I'll explain it for you now. So a haiku is a special kind of poem that's made up of three lines. Okay? And each line has different syllables in it. So for example, the first line has five syllables. The second line has seven. And the third one has five again. So syllables, I'll, I'll explain now. Syllables are what make up words. So for example, my name is Chris. So Chris has one syllable, Chris. If I make a statement out of that, Chris smells. Does he? That's two syllables. Chris smells bad. That's three words and three syllables. If I use another three words, Chris smells awful. That's four syllables, Chris smells awful yeah what about Chris is a poo head <laughs> who's writing this is it me <laughs> I can add even more syllables so Christopher smells disgusting that's seven why are these all about me smelling what on earth glad he is on YouTube that's six <laughs> so a haiku is made up with five, then seven, then five again. So the challenge is you have to write a haiku about being at home, which should be easy because you're all used to it now. Three weeks in, just being at home. So for example, I love to play drums because I'm made of rhythm. Sometimes far too much. It's an easy one. So I sit at home and tap on my hands and knees and write poetry. There you go, there's two haikus. So my challenge to you now is, I want you to write a haiku about being at home. Bonus points if it can be about drums as well. And triple bonus points, <laughs> that's even a thing, if you can get it to sort of rhyme as well. But it's not, that's not the main point, okay? This is just something fun to do in between your work. Because it's kind of, I love doing it, okay? Now, I'm not gonna just give this challenge just for the crack. I mean, you have to get something out of it, don't you? So, there's going to be a prize. Whoever writes the best one will win a copy of my book. It's called Dirt Bird Billy and Other Nonsense Rhymes. And it's got some real funny wee poems in there. Some of you may have heard them before. So the winner will get a copy of that posted out to them as soon as I get some of the entries in. So you've got one week to do it. So the new video I'm recording at the minute and it's going to be on Monday as usual. So let me know how you're getting on. Again, a very big congratulations to Caleb. You're going to have a new drum pad coming to you very, very soon as, the, as soon as the postman can get it to you. And you can be practicing on that. So there we go. Have fun, guys. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.